So reaction number three, we're going to take hydrogen gas, react it with an alkene. Okay, and that's going to turn this into an alkane. Uh, it could be a cyclic alkene, which would turn into a cycloalkane. Uh, this does require a catalyst, and you will want to know that. Unlike one of our later reactions where we take a halogen and react it with an alkene, which will, will occur without the catalyst, this one you're going to need a catalyst. Usually we use some type of metal, palladium, platinum, something along those lines. And what happens is at the surface of the metal, the hydrogen molecule will bond to the metal, and then the alkene, one of its bonds will, will, will be disrupted, and it will, the electrons instead will interact with the metal. Uh, and then those hydrogens will then be able to add to this while they're both attached to the surface of the metal. So if we can picture this kind of pulling up next to the hydrogen molecule, this can lead this to interact with the metal, and then this can kind of split. Uh, alkene plus hydrogen examples are pretty simple. If I had something really simple like ethene and hydrogen, all it's going to do is the hydrogen is going to add to this to form C2H6. Okay, you would need some type of catalyst. Let's put some platinum there. Uh, and it's probably going to need to be a reasonably high temperature, reasonable pressure. As far as what the actual reaction looks like, what do you have happening is a disruption of this bond and then using those electrons to eventually form bonds with those two hydrogens. Okay, And that's going to take place all on the surface of the metal, so that electron density of the metal is going to help facilitate the motion of those so that we end up with a single bond and a fully saturated alkane like this. Okay, and again, it's important that you note that this does not occur under typical conditions. You want the catalyst there for this to be able to go. But other than that, that's it for reaction three.